Guys, okay, this video is long overdue. Every time you ask me the best technique to study, to memorize, my answer is always flashcards, Anki. And I never got to explain it until today. Finally, this is what we're gonna do in this video. And if you're new here, my name is Aura. I'm a doctor from the Philippines and I make these videos to help aspiring medical students. And I've been studying for more than a year for my local boards and for the USMLE steps and I've used this Anki. I can really, really vouch for it. I think it's the reason why I'm able to memorize a lot of things in such a short time. And I really wish I learned about this in med school or even in pre-med. So I hope this video helps you. I'm gonna show you how I use Anki, my favorite and free flashcard software. And I'm gonna show you how you can download the free pre-made decks and also make your own. So let's start here. So I'm gonna show you a sample. Hmm, where is it? Anki. Only blank amino acids are found in proteins. Huh? L amino acids. Very basic. Which amino acids are characterized by branched side chains? Ah, branched. VLI. Um, valine leucine isoleucine uh, so since I already know it I can just repeat it in four days so basically that's the concept of spaced repetition and it's a well-studied learning theory I want you to visit this video by osmosis it's called spaced repetition and learning theory and watch it and once you're convinced try Anki so for Anki I'm not gonna teach you about how to use the specifics of the software it's very complicated so for that, maybe you can visit this channel, The Anking. Maybe watch all the videos or whatever you need. Just Google it. There are also a lot of other videos online, like this one by Kevin from Med School Insiders. Just watch this, 13 Steps to Better Anki Flashcards. And if you're really, really convinced already, I'm gonna show you how I make my own flashcards in this video. Okay, so first is download the Anki software. It's free for your laptop or your desktop. And I like to make my flashcards on my laptop. And when I'm on the go, I use my phone to review the flashcards. So anyway, let's look at the laptop version first. So yeah, download it. And once you're done, this is how the software looks like. So what is this Zanki Step Decks? This is one of the pre-made decks available for free. Uh, you can download it from this website, medschoolanki.com. You can download uh, decks for Step 1 of the USMLE or basically the uh, first and second year med subjects like uh, ph physiology, biochem, anatomy, and even microbio, pharma, and pathology. So this is what I downloaded before, the Zanki Fuchsia and Patho Anki deck. So just click on that, download. It's in a Google Drive file. It's 125 MB. And once you're done, just go here. Uh, file, import, and then click this, import. That's the file. So I already did that. So here. So at first, it looks exciting because it's all here. It's already pre-made for you. But once you start to use it, you may get overwhelmed because it's a lot. It's complete, maybe too complete for some. So what I do, this is how I used it, especially during my boards. I, I go here and browse. And as you can see, it's all indexed. It's all fixed here on the left yeah, and so for example I'm studying biochem that day and I'm studying my notes my own material and I come across this enzyme called aldolase I search for aldolase here in the search bar and every time aldolase is mentioned in any of these flashcards it will appear here so I can learn everything about aldolase using the software it's like my free and quick and concise search bar, Google bar. So all the high yield stuff about all the lays, I can learn here. So this is basically just my search engine. So for example, I'm studying patho and I come across orphan Annie. 
and I think to myself, what's Orphan Annie again? So I just search here, Orphan Annie. So there you go. It comes out automatically. Orphan Annie is in papillary carcinoma. And yeah, oh nga pala, I know that. And I'll check out all the other stuff about Orphan Annie here. So there's a picture even. So basically what I want you guys to do is to explore this feature by yourself and see how it works for you. So I'm just saying that this was how I used it. I just used it as a search engine. Now I want to show you my own personal way of how I create my own flashcards. Personally, I found that creating my own flashcards is way more effective because I can only focus on the things that I often forget that are always still so confusing for me and the things that I believe are must-knows for my exam, for my own exam. So what I do is... I first go to Google Sheets. Where is it? Here. I prefer Google Sheets over Excel because at least every time I type, it automatically saves and I can access it from anywhere, either on my phone or on my laptop, and it automatically syncs. So what I do is on the left column, I type in the questions, and on the right, I type in the answer. So for example, this is what I used for my step one exam. So like this. What ligament thickens in lumbar spinal stenosis? It's the ligamentum flavum. So if you're wondering why I have different colors for this, it's because one color is everything that I learned for that day. So for example, all this blue is from day one, and then day two, it's yellow. And the reason why I want to do this is because at the end of the day, for example, I feel like I'm getting so tired already, I a lot the last 30 minutes of my day to just go over what I learned for that day. So everything in yellow, I have to go over it before I sleep. Actually, it's not even 30 minutes, maybe just 15 to 20. I just read it again because if not, I feel like I will forget everything that I learned that day. So sayang. I don't delay this. I don't cheat on this part. <laughs> I really, really make sure that I study it again at the end of the day. So now, how do I convert this into flashcards? It's very easy, just click on File, Download as .csv, comma separated values. There you go. So now that it's downloaded, go again to your Anki software. Just click here, File, Import, and from your own, this is it. You were the Mulayan Sheet 1, open. So import the first column, field 1 is the front, field 2 is the back. And then I'm going to create my own, create my new deck for this. Our uh, step 1, custom learnings. Uh-huh. So that's my own deck, import. Importing complete. It's all here already, see? If you click browse and you go here it's all here it's not as organized as this pre-made deck but it works for me because it's all mine it's all personalized and when i want to study it i just make sure to go back here click here for my deck study now so it's all here already most common cause of unilateral fetal hydronephrosis is the kink the junction so I know that already, so I just click for this. Two embryologic origins of the GU tract. I don't know. The things that you won't really need, but you have to study it for your exam, right? Metanephric blastema and ureteric bud. Okay. As you can see, it's so easy, right? That's how you can create your own deck, your own flashcards. Actually, you can also create from this software. You don't have to use Google Sheets. Just click this Add, and then type the question here, question, and then the answer here. If you want, you can add pictures. How do you add pictures? For example, um, this picture. Okay, weird. <laughs> and then you can add your own tags, but that's so complicated, and I'm not going to teach you how to do that. I'm just saying that you can... And there are a lot of other websites and videos to help you do that. So the reason why I like to use Google Sheets is because I want to see everything in one file. 
and you know, it's just a personal preference. Whatever works for me may not work for you, so just keep on exploring. If I were back in med school, if I had known about this in med school, I would have used this religiously for all of my subjects. I would have forced my classmates, our class president, to create these flashcards for the entire class and make it available for everyone. I can imagine myself attending lectures and instead of just reading and taking down notes during the lecture on my notebook, I would already create my flashcards right there and then. So, for example, during the lecture itself, I learned about sumatriptan. It's a new drug for me and I have no idea what that is and I know that I have to remember it. So, instead of writing it on my notebook or on my laptop in a document file, I would convert it automatically in question and answer format. And at the end of the day, I will review everything that I learned for that day and would convert it into flashcards. And then automatically, it will decide when I have to repeat it and I just have to be compliant, to adhere to the system, to review it on the go while I'm on my daily commute, while I'm not doing anything. Imagine the possibilities. <laughs> I really, really hope this helps you, this inspires you to level up your studying. This is really helpful and it's proven. A lot of medical students around the world use this religiously and let me know if it's your first time to hear about it. And also, if you've been using it, if you have other tips, then please share it in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye!